Do you want to experience the thrill and skill of diving in and out of the enemy jungle, showing off flashy plays with a powerful kick to turn the game around? Don't miss today's guide, where you'll learn how to make your Lee Sin the god monk who dominates the rift. In standard matches, it's recommended to use this rune and item build for Lee Sin, focusing on burst damage and sustained output. If the enemy has strong poke abilities, consider swapping Eclipse for Edge of Night to improve your ganking potential. If you want to enhance your execute potential, you can also swap Giant Slayer for Coup de Grace to increase your threat against low health champions. Lee Sin has great early game pressure. First, make full use of his passive by landing two fast auto attacks after casting Sonic Wave, restoring energy while increasing the damage of the second part of Sonic Wave making jungle clearing much faster. After hitting level 3, you can look for ganking opportunities. First, use W to close the gap to the enemy, follow up with E to slow them down. After they burn their mobility, land a clean sonic wave hit, follow up with the second cast to close in and secure the kill. In team fights, Lee Sin needs to assess the situation and adapt. If the enemy marksman is fed, look for chances on the flank with sonic wave. Once you hit them, Follow up with the second cast. Immediately use your second ability to get behind them, then kick them back with ultimate. The high burst and knockback effect of the ultimate, along with your team, can easily delete them. If the enemy bruisers try to dive your backline, use your ultimate to kick away their frontline while trying to knock up multiple enemies, giving you more time to deal damage. As the game enters the late stage, the first ability from Lee Sin becomes the Reaper's Scythe. All right, that's it for this Lee Sin guide. Which champion would you like to learn about next? Let me know in the comments.